Today is a very exciting day. I call it a Smilestone, and here's why. We are installing the beautiful teakwood doors from Guru Prasad. And all who enter Mayor Archive Collective will now go through this tangible link to the avatar of this age. And today they are installed. Guru Prasad in Pune, India, was one of the residences of the Maharani of Baroda. She generously invited Meher Baba and his Mondali to use this palatial home. So for almost a decade in the 1960s, Baba spent the summers at Guru Prasad. If these beautiful eight-foot doors could talk, they might tell us of Baba's large darshan programs, where he gave out memorable messages for all time, or tell us of his lover's happy hearts to gather with him in small groups informally, or of Baba's presence in his intense seclusion work at Guru Prasad. And now the doors will tell us of how happy they are to stand tall at Mac, greeting us as reminders of the advent of the God-man amongst us. These big doors came from Guru Prasad Palace, which was demolished in 1974. When it was demolished, there were several components of Guru Prasad Palace that were taken by Baba lovers. This door was something that was set at the roadside, and this is what I heard. Mayerji salvaged this door from the side of the road and took it to his factory yard to store. It may have been there for a few years, but because it's hard teakwood, original old model artic, the weather couldn't affect it. However, with all the paint and all the finish was peeled off, it was sent at some point to the Society for Avatar Mayor Baba, which was started by Harry Kenmore at that time, the Northeast New York area. They received these doors by sea mail. Glasses were broken, but they turned the doors over to Amish craftsmen who refurbished these doors completely refinished them, put new glasses to match the original, and they spared no expense in putting these nice Baldwin solid brass hinges and other hardware on these doors, so we're keeping all this as it was given to us by Rita and Larry Parrish. To feature these doors, we built this enclosure here, this finished framed opening that consists of original heart pine from this school building from 1928. You can't get this wood anymore. It's really beautiful, solid grain. And we used all these components to build this opening for the teak doors. The finish is very closely matched to what the teak doors are. So today is the day we install these. Let my love open the door. Let my love open the door. To your heart, open the door. Let my love open the door. Let my love open the door. I have the only key to your heart. I can stop you from falling apart. Try today, you'll find this way. Come on and give me a chance to say. Let my love open that's all I'm living for Release yourself from misery There's only one thing gonna set you free That's my love That's my love Now let's see if these two doors match. This is the first time we're trying them together. That is it. The door is straight at least. Now we put the handles on. To your heart Open the door, let my love open the door. These are the doors with the handles in the open position. This door closes first, and that door over it. And that's the handles and doors in a closed position. 
So now you see the doors are positioned in the closed position. On the side, I built seven equal spaces on each side because I could, with the idea that perhaps in the future, somebody who likes to do decorative artwork, possibly glass, maybe stained glass, it would give somebody an opportunity to do something artistically. So you have seven spaces on each side and two at the top, okay? How fortunate we are to have these tangible links to Baba's physical presence. It seems fitting that these beautiful doors taking up their residence today are the first of many treasures associated with Avatar Mayor Baba's life and work that are soon to find a lasting home here at Mayhair Archive Collective. J. Baba. Open the door, let my love open the door, let my love open the door.